particularly across the Irish Sea and also the north of Scotland, and there is rain for some. Now, you can see in the satellite picture this great big curl of cloud. This is rain-bearing cloud. It's all circulating around an area of low pressure, and already we're starting to lose the rain from eastern England. But the wind is coming up from a southerly direction, so note the colours. We've got yellows and we've got ambers on the charts, indicating it's going to be mild not just today, but tonight and tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. So we say goodbye to the rain in eastern England. The rain in Scotland migrates northwards. There'll be some sunshine, some of it hazy. And then we've got all these showers rotating around that area of low pressure. Some of them will be heavy and potentially thundery across Northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland and northwest England. Look at those temperatures, 8 to 19 degrees. The average in London at this time of year is about 15 or 16. The showers continue in the north and the west, as indeed does the wind. It will ease for a time and pick up later. And then we're watching this next area of rain coming up across southern England and into the southeast, as well as the Channel Islands. It's also going to be a mild night, temperatures falling between about 8 and 14 degrees. So tomorrow, here we've got this rain moving northeastwards. There is a chance that on its southern flank through the English Channel in the southeast, we could have very strong gusts of wind. It's the remnants of a storm named by the Spanish Met Service, named Storm Barbara. And in the northwest, we continue with the showers, but in between, something drier and brighter and still relatively mild. Dan and Lou. Storm Barbara. Thank you. We'll watch out, Carol. Oh, well, you will. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, watch out for all of us. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Now, a two-week...